humility. Humility is a very important virtue. And saints say that we cannot enter heaven without having a certain level of humility. So we're going to look at the spiritual teachings of Saint Dorotheus of Gaza about humility. What is the house of virtues? So there's something called the house of virtues. It is a house within ourselves and we build it of virtues. So it's kind of a figure of what is happening inside ourselves. We are required to put a stone for each virtue whenever we can, which means whenever we can practice a virtue, we should do that. And that's how we advance in virtues. Then our inner house rises from all sides. Humility is something like the cement between those stones. So humility is needed for all the virtues. Humility is also the fence of the roof so that we don't fall off the roof with pride. So as the inner house is being built, we have to be careful to be humble all the time because if we go towards pride, we're going to fall. There is no virtue without humility, which means the practice of a virtue without humility is not considered a virtue. It's just a practice, but it's not a virtue for the person. The person does not benefit. With God's help, we acquire the virtues. So we always rely on God to help us build our inner house. Practice the virtues wisely. Make the virtues a habit in your life. We are not able to abide by the commandments without humility. So as we go towards the commandments, towards practicing what we are required to practice, practicing the faith, we need to have some humility. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult for us. With the humility, we stay away from evil and we stay within the boundaries of the commandments. By humility, we can gain the virtues one by one. The saint says, humility does not get angry. So a humble person does not get angry. He also says, humility does not make anyone angry. So a humble person does not make people angry because the way that person carries themselves, everybody likes them. They don't get angry at them. How do we reach humility? We have to consider ourselves the worst of all, all the time. Because when we start thinking that we are better than that one person, we start getting angry at that one person. So all the time we have to consider ourselves the worst of all. Anything good that we do, we have to thank the Lord for it. And we say, the Lord helped us do this good thing. By getting tired physically, we also feel humble because we lose our physical power and that humbles us. We will look at the life story of Saint Dositheus. He was a soldier serving with an officer. He didn't know God, but he was very obedient to the officer. One day he saw a lady in purple who told him about hell. He was at church, just visiting out of curiosity, looking at some icons over there and in one of the icons he saw a lady in purple that told him about hell and she gave him some instructions she said if you want to stay away from hell then you have to fast don't eat any meat and pray always so he started doing these things until the soldiers finally took him to a monastery and over there he was obedient and lived by these commandments and the instructions of his spiritual father. 
Then he died after five years. An elder visiting the monastery saw him as a saint. So there you go. Within five years, he was able to achieve sainthood because he was obedient and very humble. I hope you benefit from this video. God bless you.